Hi, it's Guy DiMartino. I am a Northwest Indiana estate and probate lawyer. And today I'd like to talk a little bit about getting an updated power of attorney for somebody who is losing it or possibly has already lost it. But before I get started and tell you the facts of this case, if you ever have any questions regarding Indiana state matter, you can always reach out to me at indianastatemeeting.com and we can set an appointment either by telephone, by video conference, or in person, and I will do my best to answer your questions and your concerns. So this was the nature of the conversation that I had. I said, somebody called up and they were a family member of uh, somebody and this person was losing it. And they were concerned that this person would not be able to handle their affairs. And so they wanted either an updated power of attorney or a new power of attorney. Now remember, a power of attorney gives an agent the ability to act on somebody's behalf. So if I were to put together a power of attorney and I would name you as my attorney, in fact, I would give you the ability to do certain things on my behalf. So my first question to anybody who calls me up regarding a power of attorney is this. Is the person competent? You see, in order for a principal in order for somebody to give power away, they have to have the mental capacity to do so. They have to understand what they are doing and what they are executing. They have to have the mental capacity to be able to contract. They have to understand what they are doing, that they are giving somebody else the power. They have to understand the things that they have and the nature of the document that they are going to sign. If they do not have the capacity, they do not have the ability to enter the power of attorney and the power of attorney can be challenged by either a third party or somebody else in the family. So if you think somebody is starting to lose it and you want them to get their affairs in order, you have to do it while they still have the mental capacity to do so. Do not wait until it's too late. Because if it's too late, then you have to go to court and you have to start a guardianship procedure, which costs a whole bunch of time and a whole bunch of money. If you have any questions around the Indiana state matter, you can always reach out to me. I am Guy DiMartino. Have yourself a great day.